do a tutorial for this mini album. This mini album is super quick, easy, and simple to make. So, um, it's not gonna, this tutorial won't be very long at all. I'm gonna do it from start to finish, and I'll even do it adding my design paper. So, this is a full tutorial, um, from start to finish. But to go over this album, you have a pocket here on the front and also here on the back. Okay, and you do have magnets here. And then your pages are all the same. This is your front page. You have a space for a large photo. In the back of the pages, you have space for two wallet sides. Okay, and each page does have a pull-out mat. And I will show you how to do all of that as well. Okay, so let's get started on making this mini album. Alright, so to start with, what you're going to need is a 7x11, okay, on your 11 inch side, you're going to score it a half and score it 5 and 3 quarters. Alright, now what you're going to do is fold and burnish. Okay, add your adhesive. And the adhesive that I'm using is the art glitter glue, and I use the fine metal tip. Okay. You just add your glue. Fold it back down. Press and burnish. Okay. And you're going to need six of these. These are going to be your um, pages. So, like I said, you need six of these. You're going to have an opening to the right and an opening to the left. Okay. And I've already made my other ones. So I have these already created. So now I'm going to add my decorative paper here. And I made these albums, you know, for like a baby book. But you can make these for anything, any occasion. Okay, so you're just going to line up your paper here. Press it down. And I like to burnish mine down to kind of squeeze the glue in everywhere. Alright, then you're going to flip it over. You're going to add your design paper again. Again, line it up. Press down and burnish. Okay, so now that I have all six of these done, all right, this is going to be my front. And that way, whenever I open them up, they're going to mirror each other. The design paper is going to be the same on um, both sides here. Okay. So now what you need to do is go ahead and do your covers. You're going to need two pieces that are five and a quarter by seven and a quarter. Okay, like I said, you need two pieces. Two pieces that are five and a quarter by seven and a quarter. All right, and then you're going to need two pieces that are eight and a half by 11. All right, what you're going to do is you're going to take one of your chipboard pieces and one of your eight and a half by elevens, and I like to add adhesive all the way around, double sided tape rather, I'll use double sided tape and glue. Here, my chipboard to my paper. I like to use the Fabri-Tac glue. This is just the glue that I like to use, and I normally use it just for the um, chipboard and the cardstock. Any other time, I use art glitter glue for everything. Okay, so now what you're going to do is you're going to take this. And just center it up. 
press it down okay and it doesn't have to be perfect because this is going to be wrapped anyway then flip it over and burnish it down okay when you do this part press really hard you know to squeeze all that glue all right now we're going to do the same thing for this piece all right we're going to add our adhesive and i apologize if i'm out of frame i don't want to you know have everything right in your face here in the camera okay so again we're going to add our fabri -Tac. and this chipboard that i'm using this is medium weight chipboard um but this is some that i had got a while back so i'm not really sure where i got it from That's why it's white on one side and craft colored on the other side. Okay, so you're going to take your 8.5 by 11, take your cover piece here, stick it down in the middle, press down. Alright, flip it over and work that glue. Press it really hard. Now we're going to take the first piece that we done because it should you know be dried a little bit so we're going to take that piece and i like to use my martha stewart stylus here and i use the smaller size i just like to run it along the edge and what that does is it just helps it fold better it helps the cardstock fold better And if you have these little glue pieces here, you can either peel those off or don't even worry about them. Okay, so now what I'm going to do, fold it up. Okay, and press it down. Now that we have it folded up, I'm going to take my scissors and cut off these corners here. Okay? And when you do that, kind of angle it a little bit. But make sure that you do not go all the way to your chipboard. You know, leave a little space there, a little bit of cardstock there, so when you wrap it, you won't see that chipboard. take and do the same thing on our other piece all right we're going to fold it down take my stylus and run it around the edges okay now again fold it up I'm trying to do this kind of quickly. So if you want to fast forward this part or whatever, that's fine. Okay, again, cut your corners off. All right. Have all four corners cut off okay it's gonna look like this all right so now what you want to do take some adhesive and I like to go around the edge of the paper and the edge of the 
chipboard here. And you can really never have enough of adhesive when you're making an album. Because you really want the album to last. Okay. So now what I like to do, take my art glitter glue. I put my lid back on my Fabri-Tac here. Okay, take my art glitter glue. I'm going to take it, run it along the edge, all the way around. Get it as close to the edge as you can. Even over top of your score tape here. And then just go in the middle. Okay. And now what you want to do is you want to press it down. Okay. Just like that. Just press down and burnish. Okay. Now we're going to turn it around and do the same thing on this side. Get it as close to the edge as you can. And in the middle. Okay. Again, take your bone folder or your hand and just press it up against that chipboard. Alright, and then lay it down. Press it down. Alright, we're going to do the edges. And you want to take your bone folder or whatever and just push in your little edges here so you don't have that big of a um, bulk on your corners okay press it down and if glue comes out that's no big deal because it's going to be covered up anyway okay now let's do the other side if you want you can go ahead and Press in your corners before you add your glue. Alright, add your glue. In the middle. Okay. And press it down. Okay, so now what you want to do is you want to wrap it. Um, now what you want to do is add your design paper. Okay, so I've chosen this pattern, this design piece here for the front. So I'm going to add it on. And again, get your glue kind of close to the edge. All in the middle. Sorry, that glue's all up in your face there. All right, then you're just going to line it up and then press it down. Okay. All right, now you're going to flip it over. And this is the piece that I've chosen because it matches page one. Okay. So I want the front part to match page one. Like I have here. These two pieces, they match. So that's what I'm going to do here. Alright. I'm going to add my glue here. center as best as I can press it down okay now I'm gonna do the same thing for the back piece okay this is my front cover so now I'm gonna do the same thing for the back cover add my adhesive my ATG tape here 
And you can use score tape or you can just use glue, you know, whatever you want to do. All right. Take your art glitter glue. Your bone folder and press it in. Okay, same thing on this side. Glue on all edges. Take your bone folder and press it in. Press it down. Okay. You're going to take and press in your edges. Alright, add your glue. Press it together and down. Okay. Same thing. Push your corners in. Add your glue. Press it down. All right. This is going to be my back, and I'm going to make it the same as the front. I'm going to use the same design paper as I did on the front. Press it down. Alright, now we're going to flip it over for the inside. And I've chosen this piece because it is the same as what my last piece will be. Alright. Take it, line it up, press it down. All right, now the fun part. Now we get to use our cinch. Okay. So now we're going to take clear my space here all right this is the cinch that I use it is Heidi Swap we are memory keepers the cinch and the wires that I use are three quarters of an inch the cinch we are memory keepers and I get them from Hobby Lobby all right I'm gonna take these out sorry for the noise should have had those those out already okay but now what you need to do and I suggest doing this you know every time you use your cinch take a scrap piece and line it up the way that I do mine now this is the way I do mine but I will leave the link to the um, tutorial that I followed in the description bar below but this is how I do mine okay I take a piece of scrap paper which is the same size as my pages okay and then I line it up so first you know this piece here moves ok 
Okay, so it was all the way over. I put it in, punched it out, and it wasn't right. So I played around a little bit, and I figured it out. Mine needs to be over two notches. Okay, and that'll be, you know, that'll make my little holes even on both sides. Okay, so now what you need to do, take your pages, and I like to do mine one at a time. Okay, so you're just going to take them, place them in, pull down. Okay. Like I said, I do mine one at a time. I'm sorry for this bar getting in your in the view there. It's just kind of hard to film and it not be in the way. Okay. So now that we have all six pages punched out, okay, we have all six done. Now what we're going to do is take our front and back cover, okay. And this is my back. I'm going to put it in first. Press it up a, up in here. Pull it down. Now this does get kind of hard. Okay. And it punches it out. I'm going to take my front cover. Same thing. Push it in. Punch it out. Okay. So that's what you have. All right. Now what you do is you're going to take, let me turn this around here, okay, and you're going to set your dial, and it's supposed to be for three quarters of an inch. I always set mine one below, okay, well, two below is what I have this one set on. All right, so it's on three quarters, and I turn it twice and make it go down just a little more. All right, now what you do is you count how many holes you have here okay and then that's how many wires you're gonna need so you're gonna need a pair of pliers a pair of wire cutters all right and then count your holes so we have two four six eight nine holes okay so we need to count nine of these rings you don't count the larger size you count the smaller side okay and then you're gonna cut it off So now what you do is you're going to take it, place it in your little grooves here, these little teeth here, you're going to place it down in there. Alright, what you do now is you take your pages, alright, you put your pages in first and you put them in the order that you want them in, like this is my first page. This is my second and third page. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. Okay, that's how I count my pages. But this is the order that I want them in. So now I'm going to stick them on here. You just put them in the little holes. Okay, now you take your front cover. Alright, my front cover matches my first page. So now you take that, place it in. Now you're going to take your last, your back cover. This is the last piece that you have to put on your wires here. Okay. And now what you do is you make your front and your, mat, your back match. You're going to make your front cover and your back cover match each other. They're going to, you know, lay up against each other. Okay. So that's what we have. And I always take mine out and hold on to my wires and flip this over to make sure that I have it lined up right. Okay. Always check it because once you press it together, that's it. You know, you can take it apart, but you're going to, you know, tear it up. And then you'll have to, you know, do the wires again. So now what you do is you take the opening part here. And you're going to 
place it down on here okay so you just take your piece in here together holding on to your book all right and we have it set already and just press it down okay and that's what you have let me move this out of the way here okay so now what you do is you take your back piece and you just flip it over so this is what you have this is your album you have your front cover you have your pages and everything is in the right direction and this is your back cover okay so now what you do is you're gonna take you're gonna need six pieces that are four and a quarter by six okay you're gonna round your corners and for mine I have a stamp and I stamped place photo here and I have a misty I have the smaller misty sorry for the glare and I placed my stamp and you know it to me it's a lot easier if you have a misty and you want to you know do the same you want to make sure that your stamp is in the same position every time it's best to have a misty okay so now you take your we are memory keepers quarter inch uh crap dial all right and then you're gonna do your corners all right like i said i have six of these so now what you do is i do all of my fr front pages first okay and for my other album for this album here I have it where you can you know tuck something up in there if you want to but this album I'm just gonna glue the whole thing down okay so now what you do is you add your glue all the way around okay and then you eyeball center it as best as you can And then press it down. Here's your bone folder. Just press it down. Okay. And if you want to leave an opening here, all you do is just glue your edges here. Okay. So we're going to go ahead to our next page. All right. And again, if you'd like to fast forward this part, you know, it's all going to be the same for all six pages. I'm just going to glue down my mats here. Okay, line it up, press it down. Alright, again, take your glue. All the way around and I apologize for the noise Press it down. And if you wanted to, you could add design paper on top of here instead of, you know, stamping out or, you know, having just a plain piece here. You could add design paper on top of this
you know it's your album you have fun with it you know one thing I love about crafting is there is no wrong you know you may think there's a wrong when you're doing it but there is no wrong homemade it's homemade and it's fun okay so now what I'm gonna do now I'm gonna do the back of my pages okay and you're going to need 12 pieces that are 2 and 3 quarters by 3 and 3 quarters. Alright, you're going to take, same thing, you're going to use your quarter inch. Punch out your corners here. Alright, and again, stamp out your place photo here. Or you can add design paper, whatever you want to do. Alright, and then we're just going to take and glue them down just like this. Okay, and again, on the other album, I left them open at the top. So if you want to leave them open, just glue on three sides. But I'm going to glue these all the way down. Okay, and again, you can fast forward this part if you want to. Because I'm kind of going to get a little quiet here. Just press it down. And I like to put two on the page and take one up at a time. That way I can kind of line them up. Okay, so you just line it up as best as you can. Press it down. Alright, we're going to do that on the back of each page here. to get ahead of myself and on these albums you can add as many embellishments as you like but if you do that make sure that you use a different size wire um, they come in an inch they come in three quarters of an inch an inch I think an inch and a half and maybe two inches. I'm not really sure. But they do come in different sizes. So, you know, if you want to add more pages or add embellishments or whatever, just make sure that you use a different wire. A larger wire. Okay, so as you can tell, you know, it's really not taking that long to put this album together. This has got to be one of the easiest albums I have ever made. Easy and simple. And also these these here will hold a wallet size photo without having to crop it. And on these right here, this will hold it'll hold a four by six. You know, but you will have to cut a little bit off. It'll hold it on the four inch side perfectly, but the six inch side, you know, you will have to cut it off just a little bit, you know, to make your photo fit. Or if you wanted to, if you have a three and a half by five, it'll fit on there perfectly. Okay, so that's one thing, you know, that I like to do is I like to make my albums where you don't have to um, cut down your photos. A lot of times cutting down photos will break your heart. It does mine anyway. I hate to cut a picture. 
I love taking pictures. You know, everywhere we go, I like to take my camera. Even if it's just my phone, I like to take pictures everywhere we go. So if you're like me, when you print them off, you don't really want to cut them off. Okay, last page here. Okay, sorry about that. My camera cut off. Alright, so anyway, we have all of our little photo mats glued down throughout the album. Alright. So now what we're going to do is we need our um, pullouts. Our pullout photo mats. Alright, so you're going to need six pieces that are five by six and three quarters. Okay, and on mine I use the Martha Stewart punch here. Sorry for the glare. Alright, and what I do is I just take it, line it up, punch it down. Alright, and you're going to do, if you use, um, you know, a punch or whatever you use, you know, if you do that, go ahead and, and punch those all out. Okay, and I've already, I've already got my others done here, but now I need to glue this one down. All right, so I'm just going to take, add my glue all the way around. Okay, we're going to line it up. And press it down. Okay, use your bone folder, work that glue in. So now we have our six photo mats, all right, that'll go in our pockets. And now what you do is you just kind of choose, you know, which pockets you want them to go in. And I'm just going to stick mine in there. There's no specific order here. I'm just going to stick them in. And these mats here, these will hold a 4x6 without having to crop them down. You know, and that'll still give you, you know, some design paper on the edges here. Okay. I had a lot of fun creating this album. As well as the one that I did before. Um, I done this one a little bit different. This one does not have the seam binding closure. As you can see here. I did not add the seam binding closure like I did on this one. Um, but if you add seam binding, make sure you do it before you add your design paper. Okay? If you use seam binding or ribbon, you know, any type of closure like that. Do it before you add your design paper. Okay, but on mine I did not. Alright, so now what we need for the front and the back, these two are going to have pockets. Okay. So now what you need for your pockets, you're going to need a 4x7. Okay, on your 7 inch side you're going to score to half, rotate, score to half, rotate, score to half. Alright, then you're going to take your scissors, just notch out your little corners. Okay, 
And then you're going to fold them in and burnish. Okay, you're going to do that on all three flaps, all three little pieces there. All right now, you're going to take your glue, glue down your little bottom flap. And you don't have to do this, this is just you know, I like to do it because it's easier to put it in. All right, now what you're going to do is you're going to take almost forgot to round my corners again I'm gonna use my quarter inch all right and I'm going to round the corners of the top of the pocket okay now I'm gonna add my glue go as close to the edge as you can take place it down where you want it okay once you got it where you want it press it down all right use your bone folder press it in okay now what you're gonna do you're gonna add your design paper no you do not now what you do is add your flap, add your flap, your three and a half by six on your three and a half inch side, you're gonna score it a half. All right, fold down and burnish. Okay, and you're going to use your decorative punch, just kind of eyeball it, eyeball center it in punch it out and I apologize y'all if I get all in the way here um, it's kind of hard to film and do everything that's why I like to do everything off camera so I'm not in your way okay so now you have that punched out all right now you're gonna take it all right and you need to make sure See how mine is not the same length here? I'm just going to take it and mark it where it is. Then I'm going to cut it off. Alright. I'm just going to use my little Fiskars cutter here. Just cut that little piece off. I don't know if I measured a little wrong or what happened there okay so you just add your glue all right now what you're gonna do is you're gonna line it up okay I like to line this part up before I press it down all right make sure it's even at the top before you press down all right, and then press it down, okay? All right, so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my eraser and erase that pencil mark. I'm shaking the camera, I apologize. I don't want any pencil mark to show. Okay, so now what I'm going to do, I'm going to take on my top flap here, okay, I'm going to add my design paper, okay, and I've already got it cut out. All right, so I'm just going to. Add my glue. I'm going to add my paper here. All right, then you just center it up and press it down. 
Okay. All right. Now what you're going to do, you're going to add your magnet. Okay. And these magnets here, I get these from eBay. And they come from overseas. So it does take a little while for them to get here. But you can use, you know, any kind of magnet that you like. This is just what I use. Okay, so now what you're going to do is you're going to take your magnet. And I like to place mine at the top or the bottom, you know, wherever you want to. Alright, then we're going to, before we press it completely down, you want to make sure, you know, you have enough space here. Because one thing that I did do was on this album here, I didn't have like a larger closure here. This one is smaller than what this one is. And my magnet, you know, kind of went to the edge of my paper. And I didn't want that to happen for this album. So this album, I made my closure a little bit bigger. All right. So now I'm just going to take add this magnet. To the bottom press it down all right so now that way it's not at the top here and it's not you know it won't be at the top up here as well now I can take my design paper okay so I'm going to peel the backing off there add my glue Press it down. Okay. Now our little flap and our bottom part here matches. All right. Now we're going to take this piece, take this off. We need to erase this up here. take my design paper okay and I'm going to add it onto here okay press it down I want to do since I have this little white part here showing I'm going to take the same paper that I used for my background here okay I'm just going to take that I've already cut it to size and I'm going to place it down on there you know, that way it won't be so um, bright or you know whatever so I'm just going to glue this all right I'm going to take it I'm just going to slide it in. Sometimes this part isn't so easy. So it may get a little messy here. Okay. And you just take, press it down. All right. Now you have your little pocket. Okay, so now we're going to do the same thing for the back. We're going to take our pocket. I've already got this one cut out, corners rounded, glued together. All right, we're going to take it, line it up. Where we want it, press it down. Okay, and I already have my magnet underneath my design paper here. 
so you can see you know I have my magnet on top to put here all right so I've already added my design paper on the top and cut out my piece here but I did not add my magnet because I wasn't sure you know where this one was gonna go okay press it down all right now I have my magnet So I'm going to close that and it's going to be right there. Just going to take another piece of score tape just to secure it a little more here. Alright. I'm going to take my design paper and place it on here. Okay. And as you can see, this album doesn't take hardly any time to create. And it's super cute. I was very, very happy with the way the albums are turning out here. The first one, when I made it, I was really excited because it was so cute. And then normally, you know, whenever I do a tutorial, I don't do, you know, a full tutorial. I just kind of show you the pages or whatever, how it's done. But I had a lot of fun making this one, so I was like, well, I'll go ahead and make another one. Okay, and again, I'm going to line up my little paper here. And if you want to, you can cut this down. You know, this is just a scrap piece that I had left from whenever I was using it. But you can cut it down a little smaller than what I have here. Okay, and again, we're going to tuck it down in there. Alright. Press it down. Okay, so now you have a pocket here. All right. Okay, so now the photo mats that we're gonna use for the inside of our pockets here, and for this album I did add a mat. So you're gonna have this smaller mat, which is three and a quarter by four. Okay, you're gonna round your corners. using the quarter inch side again okay add our glue to our design paper this album will be cute for any holiday or occasion or anything it, it doesn't have to be you know baby it can be for Christmas it can be for Easter birthdays you know this will be really cute um if you have a an album for each birthday you know say you have your first birthday you make a baby album for when the child is a baby and then you make it make another one for when they're one and then two and three and so on I think that would be a really cute idea okay so now you're gonna need two mats that are gonna be four by five and a quarter okay you're gonna need four of these all right four pieces that are four by five and a quarter and again, we're going to round our corners. All right. Add our glue to our design paper. Okay, just line it up. You can make your mats, you know, whatever size you wanted to. This is just what I decided to do because it fits down in the pockets really well and it'll also hold you know a wallet size photo and it may let's see oh and it'll even hold a three and a half by five okay and the smaller mats here these will hold a wallet size all right so again you have two for the front and two for the back and then you have your little smaller mat here. 
just tuck them down in your pocket. Well, that one doesn't want to tuck down in there. Now let's try that again. There we go. Okay, now you just add your little smaller mat. And it closes with a magnet. Okay? And we're going to add our photo mats here to the front. And that is it. This album is so simple. So cute. And can be used for really any occasion. Um, now you just need to decorate the front. And like I said, I did not add the seam binding. So this album does not have a closure. But if you wanted to add a closure... Punch your little holes here and use your eyelets and just tie your seam binding that way. Or, you know, whatever closure you'd like to use, you know, that's totally up to you. But I did not use a closure for this album. But I'm super happy with the way it turned out. So here we have two albums. Well, I'm trying to get them both in frame here. Okay. So here are your two baby albums using the cinch and i hope you all enjoyed this tutorial if you have any questions please let me know i'll be more than happy to help you as best as i can and i hope you all enjoyed this tutorial thank you so much for watching have a great day bye <music>